This video is to help you go through the online scheduling process so that you can see all the steps involved. So the first step is to go to the email that you received on Teacher Recommendation Day. That includes the link directly to the online scheduling portal and your unique username and password um, that allows you to access it and put your courses online. So please remember these are case sensitive and they are pretty random. So put in your password if you can. Um, I would copy and paste it if at all possible. Okay, once you put that in, select login. You are gonna come to a page that looks like this. It has your course requests. Mine currently says no requests exist. That is exactly what we want. Um, you have two options to search for courses in this screen. So the first one is the just general course search, which you can specify different options here or simply keep it as all and search for full courses. Now, of course, this gives you every single course we offer. And in my opinion, is a little overwhelming. My suggestion, if you do this way, you can simply select the classes that you want to take. And at the very bottom of the page, you can add those to your requests or simply hit the plus sign here. What I find is a little bit easier is this um, by specifying the course code. And this would allow you to use the five or six digit course code that you find on your course selector next to the courses that your teacher recommended or you selected. So for example, this student that I'm logged in right now um, is a gonna be an 11th grader next year. So this student, for example, would take, let's say I'm gonna take English 11 honors, and I'm gonna take algebra two honors. So I put in that course code. If I'm going to be taking chemistry, that course number is 03302. Separate each by a comma, as I'm already doing, and let's add in government. Um, if I wanna keep going, because there are other classes I know I want to take, let's say I um, am gonna take American Sign Language, and I'm gonna take a cooking class, and I've decided I want to also take financial literacy. I wanna add those with a year long, or a study hall both semesters. And I hit search once I'm done with everything. Now you do wanna double check this part. So this will bring up everything that you've put in in this box up here. So this has everything you wanna double check because again, a different course number will adjust um, what course comes up. So these do match everything that I wanted to sign up for. They are pre-selected. If something comes up that you didn't actually wanna select, maybe I don't want a year long study hall, I wanna take another class instead. I can uncheck it. I don't have to save it, but I can select request selected courses and they will come up here. Everything will read student pending, as you can see. Um, but this is where you want to, you know, keep going. So I can then clear out this search and search for more. If I wanted to add more classes, I can change the searches partway through. All of that is okay. But this is what I am I know I want to take. I'm pretty sure I'm done. So I'm going to review. And this is where you want to double check everything. So you are planning for a seven bell day. Um, you could have a year long or a semester study hall, uh, focus study hall for seniors, early release, late arrival. You wanna make sure you're planning for seven bells for both semesters. So this is a year long class. As you can see here, it says it's for one credit. So I'm thinking I have one, uh, bell two, three, four. I've got my four core academics, five. These are semester classes. So five and a half, six and study hall year long would be seven. I have seven full bells of classes in my requests. I can see here that I've signed up for a total number of six credits, which is accurate because study halls have no credit awarded to them. So once I'm done, I submit these requests, which then says my status is approved. So these have been approved by the student, which is what we want, and then counselors will take it from there. So at this point, you are done with online scheduling. Um, it is really as easy as that. Um, counselors will begin meeting with students in February um, and through March. We will be done prior to spring break. 
counselor's goal is to meet with every single student individually to review the classes that they have requested. In doing that, we are making sure that you are on track for graduation, that you're not missing any requirements, that you are meeting your own goals and taking classes that are challenging and interesting to you. So if you have any questions, if you have any changes that you'd like to make from these requests, you can always make that with your counselor during that meeting. Um, so if you have any questions, again, reach out to your counselors. Happy scheduling.